Hey guys, okay, so I, oh my god, it's so cold, um, I'm gonna do a haul video today, um, it's been a while, I definitely have a good amount of stuff to show you, um, so I guess I'll just get started, um, so, I was at Victoria's Secret, and I've never really, ooh, I've never really tried any of their, um, like, scents or any of that kind of stuff. So I decided to pick up, like, I needed, like, a body butter because we're getting into winter and I have really dry skin. So I picked up, um, Be Seduced. It's just, like, a raspberry. It says it's raspberry cream and sultry musk. And it smells, like, amazing. I suggest everybody go to their Victoria's Secret and buy this because it's so good. Um, I've been wanting to get, like, a body butter for a while. And just because I was in there and I had a coupon that I needed to use. So I got this. And then, okay. I guess I'll move on to lipsticks. So, in the store, Revel, uh, CoverGirl was buy one, get one, 50% off. So, I've been looking for more of, like, I guess you could say, fall colors. I was looking for a nice purple and even, like, a deeper purple. Um, and... I mean, MAC had a really nice one in the MAC Me Over collection, but I wasn't paying $15 for it. Um, I mean, I got a couple other things from the MAC Me Over collection, which I'll show you, but that wasn't going to be one of them. I don't know, for some things, it's kind of weird, I guess. I'm weird about that. I'll buy some things from MAC, but I won't buy others. I guess, like, impulse buys. I don't know. Okay. So, anyway. So, I got these four colors. They're kind of pretty. Um, so, I'm just gonna... so first of all, I got Divine. This is number 330. So these are the CoverGirl Lip Perfections. Am I recording? Yeah, I am. Okay. Making sure. Um, so, that's what it looks like. It's really... Am I going to swatch it? I guess I'll swatch it. Um, it's really purple, and I'm, like, loving it. I wear it pretty much just to school because the only people who will get it are people that go to school with me. I wore it to work once and they're like, are you wearing on your lips? And the next color is Smitten since 310. It's this nice like deep purple like red brickish color I guess you could say. It's nice. It's like a dark raspberry maybe. Um, so that's. And then I got two more. Um, Spellbound, which is this one. It's a deep pink. So it looks like. And then the last one I picked up was um, Temptress. And this is just like a bright pink. I just kind of liked the color of it. And, um,. There you go. That's what it looks like. I've been in, like, a lipstick phase. It's funny how, like, when I started making videos, probably about a year ago, and then I deleted them all, and then I restarted again probably, like, in February, I used to say that I hated lipstick. Like, I didn't like it, and now I love it. Um, and then they also had the, um, what are these? Um, they are Maybelline Color Sensationals. They were also... Buy one, get one, Steve? No. I didn't buy them. It, uh, CoverGirl, no. Maybelline stuff was buy one, get one, 50% off. So I bought this in a mascara. And then this one I just picked up on its own. So this one's a Fuchsia Fever. Another, like, bright pink that I'm loving. So I like that. And that's the color. And then, um, this was an Amethyst Blaze, and, um, one of the girls on YouTube, her, I think, and, and, Guerra, Guerra, I don't know how to say her last name, I'm gonna, like, butcher it, if I heard her say it, I'd be able to remember it, I was talking about this, I'll link her, thing below, I really like her, she kind of reminds me of, like, Khloe Kardashian, I like her, like, personality. 
and that's what Amethyst Ablaze looks like. It's a nice purple. Um, she was talking about it, so I had to run out and find it. And of course, my like my drugstore didn't have it. My Rite Aid, so I had to go to another one. And then um, a couple more lip things. Since Sephora, I had a gift card. Well, merchandise credit, and so I picked up a um like a ultra vinyl lip pencil. And this is in Miami Pink, number 5. I like this. It's nice and light. It's more glossy. That's what it looks like. Fun. I've been wearing this pretty much every day. And then, two more things. Okay. So then, I picked up a Revlon. Now... I don't have, I like the concept of red lips, I can't pull them off, per se, because I just don't have the coloring for it. A makeup artist has told me before I don't have the coloring for red lips, I might as well go with like a deep pink or something like that, no red. But, I mean, every girl has to have red lipstick, so I picked up this Revlon one, and this is in Ruby. So that's what it looks like. And then I got one more thing. I was in a lip binge, I guess. Um, this is YSL's um, Flute um, Sheer Candy. And it doesn't have the name of it. It's O-L-A-A -A number 4. But I do remember that it was like pomegranate because it smells like it. And kind of tastes like it too. I'm like in love with this. I would like to get more of these. It's very pretty. That's what it looks like. It's sheer, too. It's, um... I don't know if you could be able to see it. It's, like, right there. It's really sheer and pretty, and I usually put it on top of this. And it smells like pomegranate. It smells delicious, and I just love the packaging. And I like the way... It's more of a, um, it's very moisturizing. So yeah, love that. Okay, so move on to I, you could say, I guess. Um, also, since I had some leftover money from the Sephora, um, merchandise credit, I picked up that pencil, and then I also picked up, um, a glitter liner. This one is in six, number six, it's teal. Just um, <laughs> it's just teal glitter, pretty much. I like the little applicator. I was thinking about wearing it for Halloween, cause I'm not even sure what I'm gonna wear, cause I work at like 7:30 in the morning. Um, so it's just like that. I'm thinking I'm going to be a football player, cause I picked up a nice, cute little top from um, Victoria's Secret's pink line. It says Touchdown Giants, and it's like hot pink. So I think I'm gonna be a football player. Um, and then, okay, I picked up this quad from the Project Runway Limited Edition L'Oreal line. This is in Watchful Owl's Glaze. Now, I have to say, in the packaging, it looks really nice. And the colors are really pretty. But, the payoff is horrible. They're very hard to blend. I'm not, I mean, they're, they're gorgeous colors. Absolutely gorgeous colors. And I love the packaging of it all. But, I'm not... I mean, of course, they come out nice on your fingers, but then to actually, like, I was trying to blend them on my eyes. I don't know if you can even see these. Um, yeah, they're on my wrist. They're gorgeous colors, but to blend them on my eyes, I was trying to blend, um, these two right here. It just was not working out for me. I don't know. I have to, I mean, I haven't tried, I only tried it once the other day, and I was rushing off to work, so I don't know. I gotta check it, like, try it again and I'll let you guys know because they are really pretty colors so I got that and then um I got the it's a what is it an eight pan one um wet and wild palette it's called comfort zone and now my most of the stores around by me don't sell the eight palette ones and so when I saw this, I had to get it because we were in, I was in the city. I've been in, like, every single 
not every single, but most of the drugstores in my area in the city looking for a lot of the new Wet n Wild like collections that are coming out, like the Holiday Collection, the Glitter one, um, the Dreamweavers one. And, like my boyfriend's always like, he's really good with it. He's been like, babe, do, do you want to check this one out? I'm like, uh huh, uh huh. Can we go in? Can we go in? So we weren't. I wasn't even looking one day because I didn't even think they, this place would have it. But I found the eight pans, so I got it in comfort zone. So these are all the pretty, pretty colors. I'm in love. I've been using this palette probably every single day since I've gotten it, just because it has so many good colors in it. I'm wearing um this one right now, and then I'm also wearing. I'll show you what else I have in my crease. I have um Max expensive pink in my crease. I think they're really pretty together. A nice like fall look, but yeah, I'm in love with it, and I love. Okay, I don't know if you could even tell, but this one right here has like this nice like shimmer to it. It's like it looks like it has like this green shimmer to it and it's so it's so pretty um... probably the camera probably doesn't do it justice but yeah love this just cause it has I'm a neutral girl and has like nice neutral colors and then I picked up two MAC ones um... so I picked up satin taupe oh no I didn't that's from sorry that was like something, this is Patina. I picked up Satin Taupe a long time ago. Um, I picked up Patina, which is a nice brown color. Um, and I also picked up Expensive Pink, which I wanted because it was more of like a fallish kind of color. And it's not, it's more of like a, a nice warm, like reddish color than it is a pink, which is what I like. And then I got um, the, the Painterly Paint Pot. It's just, I've been using it every day as my base. It's the perfect base. I use it for um, all over my eyes and under my eyes as like a primer before my concealer. And my concealer, I use the um, YSL Atushi Clot, I think that's what it's called. And um, I use that every day. So I like, because it's very sheer, the YSL um, Atushi Clot. So, I like to put this before it. So, I got that. And then, I got these two um, Maybelline mascaras. So this is the Colossal. I've been wanting, like, a brown mascara because mostly I have black ones. So, I picked up both of these in, like, brown. This is just a Colossal. It's a nice big brush. I was using these for a while, and then I wanted to go back to black, so I've been using my Benefit, um, their Real Mascara, and I forgot how much I actually like that. And then I just got, um, the Great Lash one, lots of lashes, and it, they redid the, um, the brush on this, and I really like it. Because it gets, like, in, the, like, the end of it. Because, I don't know, it's always hard for me to get, like, the little, um, lashes at the bottom. So like that. So that's my eye stuff. And I guess I got two MAC. I guess I kind of splurged with MAC. I got two MAC eye brushes. I got the 239, which is this one, which is I have been using as like my all over brush. I've been using this like every single day. I've been trying to clean it, but the color doesn't come out. And then the 213, which is I've been using for the crease and pretty much everything else too really like this one. They're so soft. Then I'll move on to face. Okay. So, I returned... I had bought... What did I buy? Okay. A Laura Mercier foundation from MAC. So, what I liked it, used it once, and I was kind of okay with it. I guess, whatever. And then I tried it again, and I just... I didn't like it. It was... Not, it was too yellow for my face. I mean, like, I have yellow undertones, even though I have really rosy cheeks. So, even though I have really rosy cheeks, I have, like, yellow undertones. So, the lady matched me with a very yellow one. And it was just too sticky and too thick. I'm not, I really don't have that many blemishes, so I don't really need a lot to cover me. So, I ended up bringing that back. And then I had something else to bring back, too. So that's how I got the merchandise credit. So I got the NARS 
sheer matte foundation. I want the NARS sheer glow. I hate that's the wrong one, but I still like this one anyway. So when I finish this, I'll go. It's I'll go get like the sheer glow. The so, um love this. Absolutely love it. It's as it says, it's very sheer, which is fine with me because on some days I don't need a whole lot of anything. So I've been loving this. And sometimes I even put it on top of another foundation. Like I've been using my Chanel foundation a lot lately and I'll put this on top of it just to give a little more coverage. So got that. Then I got the Revlon Age Defying Foundation with DNA Advantage. Oh, I forgot to say what color I got this in. This one is in um, Gobi. Like Gobi Desert. Um, so, so I got the Revlon... Um, Age Defying Foundation with DNA Advantage, and this is in Fresh Ivory Number no. Five. Oh my God, this is so creamy and so nice. It's so easy to like work with and blend with. It's amazing. Like you can't even tell, but I've used, I have used a lot of it. Like I could tell, I could tell, like the little, it has like little bubbles in it or whatever, and it's it's amazing. I would definitely, this is something I would repurchase and repurchase over and over and over again because I love it. And then I picked up two um, mineralized skin finishes. This is from the Lat. I think it was Mac. Oh, it was a Mac Me Over. It was the one with the crazy faces and the different the crazy colors. I don't remember the name of it, but yeah. So I picked these two up from there because originally I wanted this mineralized skin finish. It's called Light Scapade. Um, and this is what it looks like. It's a nice highlight. It's a luminizing one, I think. I don't know. It's just a beautiful, like, highlight color. Um, you're not going to be able to even see it. No, you can't see it on my hand. But it's really nice, and I've been using it every day to highlight my cheekbones, under my eyebrow, um, and then in the corner of my eyes. So I love, love, love this. I think I'm probably taking forever to finish, which is perfect. But, when I bought it, the girl put, gave me the wrong one. She gave me this one, which is porcelain pink. And, um, this is really pretty. It's like a nice light pink with a kind of like dusty rose and gold in it. It's like a beautiful cheek color. Um, so I wasn't really mad about getting it. So I just went back and got the other one, like, the next day or something like that. So it's right, it's really light, I don't know if you're going to be able to see it, but I need a new camera. It's right there. Um, so yeah, so I bought those two. I've been loving both, I've been using probably like each one every day, but yeah. And then I picked up a while ago, but I don't think I ever showed you guys, the MAC 130, it's the face brush, the face um, duo fiber brush. I absolutely love this, because I have the Sigma one, which is this big. And people always say how they love a dual fiber brush for um, doing their foundation or anything like that. But I could never get this to work with my foundation, like, ever. It's just too big, I guess. It's just too round. It's too much of a large area for me, let's say. Didn't like it. And then, so, I was at the MAC counter. <clears throat> I bought... The Select Foundation in number, um, what was it, in NW15. Because I just, I don't know, I wanted to try it or whatever. I wanted to try the foundation. And I like that, but then I found the other ones that I like even more. But the girl put, um, on my foundation with this, and I was like, what is that? I was like, this is, I'm like, this is amazing. I'm like, I love it, because it's just a nice little brush that I could use to, like, just buff everything in. I mean, I still have to go over mapping my foundation with, um, the Sephora Professional Mineral Powder Brush, but still love it. I'll do an update foundation thing, because I don't want to take forever on this. Um, okay, so next I got three, um, nail, Essie Nail Blushes from the new collection, the, um, Cocktail Bling one. So I got Cocktail Bling itself, which is a nice milky, um, kind of powder blue. I, like, I've worn this a lot lately. Then I got, um, Bobbing for Babbles, which is a nice 
like navy, but a muted navy. And then I got, um, School of Hard Rocks, which is also another, like, it's like a muted teal color. Like, you could tell, like, there's, like, more gray in these. And then I got two, okay, two nail polishes that I've been looking for and looking for and looking for. Now, I have my Chanel Graphite, and everybody's been talking about how the Revlon Carbonite looks exactly like it. Of course, like I said, I've been going into every single freaking drugstore around looking for the Wet n Mild stuff, but in the meantime, I was also looking for the this too. Like, I would go in on a search for both. Finally, I was in my own hometown drugstore, which is, I love, because they always have like a million and one displays. A lot of the other ones don't, and I love this Rite Aid just because it has a million and one displays. Found it. It was like a whole freaking, it was a whole display just sitting there. One was bought. Out of, like, it was like one was bought. I was like, this is like a sign that I have to buy this right now. I was like, it's like the heavens open. I was like, oh. So, of course, I was like, oh my god, oh my god. And I was like, what? What's the matter? She didn't get my nail polish obsession. But whatever. So, found it. Got it. Love it. It's really nice. It's definitely very, very similar to graphite. I mean, if I could have gotten this first, I would have not bought the graphite. But I have both, so. And I love both. I actually, I had a ring. If you go to my, my blog or whatever, I have this sailor ring. And uh, it's an anchor. I got it from Aldo, it was gold, and then it got rusty, and then one day I was sitting there, and I was like, maybe I should paint it, so I painted it this, and it looks amazing, and then the other color I've been, like, lusting over, everybody's been wearing, is the Facets of Fuchsia, uh, Facets of Fuchsia color, it's like this purplish, it's like black nail polish with, like, these purple glitters in it, and it's gorgeous on, I got it at Target, um, so yeah, love this too. Then I picked up two more nail polishes. They're from Sinful Colors. This one is Miami Heat. Had this on my toes and I love it, love it. And then this one is Love Nails. Yeah, they're just two nice, very, like, blue shimmery. And then just two more things. Okay, so I got the, um, Basha Luminizing Black Mask. It's supposed to, you put it on, and you leave it on for, what is it, it's 20 minutes, and it's like this black sticky mask, you kind of want to get it, um, thicker, and then when it's done drying, you peel it all off, and it's supposed to take out, like, all your blackhead, and then my last thing is the Bumble and Bubble Thickening Hairspray, um, I have really, my hair's up right now, but I have really, um, like flat hair, it doesn't volumize that great. So I towel dry my hair and I put this in and I put it in my roots and pretty much like all over or whatever. And I finger it, like put my fingers through it to like work it through. And then I use a hair dryer like upside down and my hair comes out really voluminous. I have to put hairspray in it like afterwards just to keep it that way, but it stays for a good amount of time for my hair anyway. So yeah, I've been loving that. Um, so that's the last two things of my haul. And, um, excuse me. So that's about it. I'll talk to you guys later.